The largest lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender rights organization in the country, the Human Rights Campaign, has made their endorsement for president in 2016. That person is Hillary Clinton. I am not kidding. Again, the largest gay rights organization in the country endorsed this candidate. Do you think New York State should recognize gay marriage? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Now, this endorsement comes as quite the surprise because when you look at the voting records and how the HRC rated both candidates, Bernie Sanders has always maintained a 100% pro-gay voting record from the human rights campaign, whereas Hillary Clinton was given an 89% in 2006. But I think that 89% is actually too generous considering the fact that Hillary Clinton didn't actually support full marriage equality until 2013 when the poll started to shift. I believe that marriage is not just a bond, but a sacred bond between a man and a woman. So she claims to be this huge LGBT rights ally, but the problem is that she wasn't there for us when we needed her the most. She wasn't there for us until public opinion polls shifted. She didn't take a strong stance. She chose to be a coward and run away from us when everybody else hated us. So think about this. When her daughter was getting married, she thought that, you know, her daughter had the right to celebrate her wedding, but gay people didn't have the right to celebrate their weddings. They weren't good enough. They were plebeians. They were second class citizens. This is apparently what she thought because she didn't support full marriage equality. So the question is, why would the largest LGBT organization in the country endorse a candidate who supported the Defense of Marriage Act, who supported Don't Ask, Don't Tell, who was against gay marriage and spoke out against gay marriage for basically the entirety of her life? Well, this should be easy for them, right? Because, I mean, Bernie Sanders endorsed marriage equality back in the 80s. He voted against DOMA. He voted against Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And he designated an actual day for gay pride when he was mayor of Burlington, Vermont in the 80s, when that was political and career suicide. So basically, Bernie Sanders stood up for us when everyone else hated us. Now, my ears may have playing, been playing a trick on me, but I thought I heard the gentleman a moment ago say something, quote unquote, about homos in the military. Was I right in hearing that expression? Absolutely. Putting homosexuals in the military. You said something about homos in the military. Was the gentleman referring to the many thousands and thousands of gay people who have put their lives on the line in countless wars defending this country? I'm was talking, that the group of people that the gentleman was referring to? I'm talking about the military people in the military do not support That's not what we were bill. talking about. You used the word homos in the military. You have insulted thousands of men and women who have put their lives on the line. I'm talking about you and liberals like you that keep the foreign defense. Well, if you're curious as to why the human rights campaign endorsed Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders, it's actually pretty easy. It's a good old fashioned conflict of interest. So the president of the human rights campaign, Chad Griffin, see, he actually was a volunteer for Bill Clinton's campaign in the 1990s, and he later served in Bill Clinton's presidential administration. Now, additionally, this individual actually has done political fundraising for none other than Hillary Clinton. So the Clintons gave him a job, and now he's paying it forward, perhaps in hopes that he can maybe secure a position in Hillary Clinton's administration. Who knows? Because he's very much entrenched with the Clintons. So this decision wasn't based off of who's best for the LGBT community. It was based off of the decision, the unilateral decision, mind you, of an individual who was in bed with the Clintons. This wasn't a membership vote. This wasn't something that they put up for us to decide, members of the HRC. They did it themselves because they have their own self-interests. So The Intercept recently did an interesting piece uh, that shows that whatever an organization or a union endorses Hillary Clinton, that decision is usually contingent upon the vote of their board of directors. But when an organization endorses Bernie Sanders, it's always because they delegate that vote to their members. So if an organization is going to be voting, Bernie Sanders is going to win. Uh, so basically, the people are unequivocally on his side. So now, as a member of the LGBT community myself, who actually was a member of the Human Rights Campaign, who volunteered for their organization, I was really deeply hurt by this decision. Now for me, I briefly canvassed for the Human Rights Campaign back in the day when they were trying to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and I put myself in a really uncomfortable position, right? Because I mean, when you're canvassing for something that was then pretty controversial, gay rights, you know, there's going to be some people who are against it. And I even had someone roll down their car window when they were driving by because they saw that human rights logo on my back uh, on the shirt I was wearing. And they called me a faggot and they said that it's not about human rights, it's about sin. Now, furthermore, while I was doing my activism for human rights campaign, 
campaign, this is what led to me being outed to my family as a member of the LGBT community. So basically, I've put myself in some really uncomfortable positions because I thought it would benefit the greater good for the LGBT community because I thought that this organization would do the same for me. But clearly, they didn't. They don't care about LGBT rights. It's all about them. What's great is that I'm not alone in my outrage. So there has been tremendous backlash from the supporters of the human rights campaign. It's been very swift. It's been harsh. Uh, and now the human rights campaign doesn't know what to do with themselves. So case in point, they have a rating system on their Facebook page, right? So previously they were rated at five stars, indicating that they are a great organization. They have a high approval rating among the public, right? Uh, so <laughs> since this endorsement came down, uh, everyone has swarmed their page, all of their members and have since rated them one star and it dropped their rating down to 2.5 stars. So what do they do? They panic, they just delete the rating system altogether. Now after deleting the rating system, they panic again because their members <laughs> then show outrage at the fact that they're trying to hide the fact that they don't like this endorsement of Hillary Clinton. So from there, they put back the rating system and then the uh, ratings keep coming and now they are down to a two. Uh, so there's also a change.org petition circling around to get them to retract their uh, endorsement of Hillary Clinton. I'll go ahead and put that in the description box. We're really close to 10,000. We've, we've got to hit 10,000 because they need to see this. Uh, now, besides this, they've been inundated with comments from angry supporters on every single Facebook post that they've made. So Christopher states, I'm unfollowing and dropping my membership. My donations will not go towards a company who supports such a habitual liar. Do your homework, HRC. You want a champion for LGBT equality and you chose Hillary? After it took her forever to warm up to the idea of equality, after every scandal, you chose a corporate puppet, not a champion of equality. Hashtag feel the burn. Uh, Lindsay states, wow, HRC, disappointing endorsement considering her past vo voting record and past opinions on LGBT rights. I'm going with the candidate who has supported my LGBT brothers and sisters from the beginning. That person is not her. It's Bernie Sanders. Brenna states, just remember everyone, HRC only accepted gay rights when she found out she could win votes with that opinion. Bernie Sanders has been fighting this fight for decades. Gray states, drop the ball here HRC, only one candidate has consistently stood for equality and it's not the corporate one you just endorsed. Another one here from Eric. I am unfollowing HRC. Bernie Sanders is the only presidential candidate who truly supports equality his entire life. HRC is so phony for this. So Katie states, Hillary is only supportive of LGBT rights when it meets her agenda. I cannot believe that HRC is endorsing Hillary Clinton, the woman that until she ran against Obama was against marriage equality. That's actually not true. She was against it until 2013. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, their point stands. Um, you should do your research. The clear candidate for any organization claiming to advocate for human rights is Bernie Sanders. You had a huge opportunity to truly advocate for humans, and you chose an opportunistic, wavering liar as opposed to a man with a documented and clear history of standing by his word and actively advocating for all people, who is responsible for the decision to support Hillary. Do you know anything about her? Clearly, she is in your pockets. Now, that's absolutely true. I mean, you don't have to know that, you know, the president of the HRC endorsed Hillary Clinton because, you know, he is in bed with them. It just reeks of, you know, cronyism. It reeks of just this corrupt establishment system that we don't like. So Hillary Clinton is not the correct candidate for LGBT rights. Is she better than the Republicans? Of course, that's not even a question. But when it comes to her versus Bernie Sanders, the difference is night and day.